Hello Internet. My name is Roro and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's having a good day. Today I wanted to talk about something I've covered on this channel before, but I have some more thoughts on it. And it's the life of a loner, someone who prefers to be alone, spends a lot of their time by themselves, maybe has a hard time being around people, dealing with interpersonal relationships, stuff like that. So let's get into it. Now, when I say I've covered this before, I have a video called The Life of a Modern American Recluse. You can click that in the corner if you're interested. And the reason I'm differentiating this video from that one is a recluse is a choice. I mentioned it in that video as well. If you're living isolated from society, that is a choice in a way, you know? Some people that are loners are not recluses, but in order to be a recluse, you probably are a loner. It's kind of like a square rectangle situation, if that makes sense. In my mind, a loner is not a choice. It's just your natural state of being. It's how you feel internally. It's how you kind of always were, even as a kid, before you had as much conscious thought and control over your behavior. Uh, a loner is something that is innate and internal, in my belief. And being an introvert is relevant to both of these, but being an introvert is more so a function term. It's how you function. It's how you recharge. It's less of a state of being and an identity. I feel like it's more so a descriptor of your needs to feel comfortable and to feel recharged and have proper energy to get through your day. It's, a, it's all a little, you know, it all kind of is similar, but... I really do believe there are some differences that are worth pointing out in all three of these terms. So I'm somebody who is a loner, and I've felt this way my whole life. And, you know, growing up, I had friends. I still have friends. I never really had too hard of a time communicating with people or getting along with people on a surface level. But it's just really difficult for me to do it all the time, which I think is more so relevant to introversion because I need a lot of alone time to recharge. But I always feel like I'm outside of everything. Every friend group I've ever had, I always feel like I'm on the outside of it. I'm not fully immersed in it. I don't feel like I mesh with people in groups, especially. I always feel like I'm separate from everything. Luckily, I have some long-standing friends that I've had for a long time, and that makes me feel good internally and makes me feel less of a need to reach out to people and to make new friends and stuff like that because I have core friends that I've had forever, which I know a lot of people don't have. So I feel very lucky in that sense. And this is great because historically throughout time, there have been loners, there have been hermits that, you know, they're separate from society and they observe it from a bird's eye view almost. And ideally, that's what I would like to do. And that's what I do do naturally. But I also have a hard time trusting my mind and trusting myself because I have mental illness issues and I also have a low self-esteem. So growing up, I didn't really know who I was. I still have a hard time kind of knowing who I am, even at 30 years old. Even though I know logically who I am and if I analyze it, I could say exactly, you know, all these different parts of me and why I became the way I became. But Putting that into action, putting that into practice and like standing behind it is a whole other thing and it's difficult for me to do, which only leads me to feeling more alone and feeling more separate from everybody. And there's just certain things that I observe, people's behaviors, things that people say that I'm just like, how could you ever think that? How could you ever do that? And that makes me feel even more separated from people because there's just certain things that I really don't understand why people do them. And it's Instead of having to deal with it and just get through it and it's just part of knowing people, I prefer to just completely remove myself from it. Especially now that I'm older, I really make sure that I spend as much time away from people as possible. And in a way, it's a good thing that I live in a city. No one in my family lives in this city. None of my friends live in this city. And yeah, sometimes, I, of course, I miss my family. I miss my friends. But... It is really nice to have all the headspace that I need to just be by myself and do what I want to do, do what I need to do to just get through my life, just to survive day to day. Now, 
this is something that I experience. I don't know if this is a personal experience or if this is relevant to other people who feel like they're loners. But if you're a loner, you most likely have more insight than the average person because you spend so much time in your own mind analyzing yourself, analyzing your surroundings. And I feel like people pick up on that subconsciously and they try to take advantage of that and they try to sap energy out of me. Not everybody, but this is definitely something that I've experienced many times in my life. It's almost like people that aren't loners and aren't super introverted recluse type people, you know, that's the average person. Most people are not loner introvert recluses. <laughs> so they have a lot of experience externally analyzing people and interactions and relationships, but from their own perspective, if that makes sense, which in some ways is more valid because it's personal experience, but it also is anecdotal. And I mean, every, everybody's experience is personal and anecdotal in a way, but I feel like since I have less experience and less, I put less focus on that, I'm able to zoom out and see things from a broader perspective than the average person because the average person is so involved in their daily interactions and their daily life that they may not have the headspace or the time or even want to go inward and reflect or observe everything as a whole. And I think it becomes a grass is always greener kind of situation where people that are alone all the time, that feel lonely, that are loners, introverts, reclusive type people, they tend to feel like they want that and they want that human connection. They want that human interaction. But when they actually do it, it's very difficult and sometimes it's not fulfilling and it actually is draining and makes you feel bad. But it's still something that you feel like you want and all humans need that, obviously. And the other end of this perspective is people that are more extroverted are around people all the time. That's how they recharge. They tend to see the introspection and the zoomed out perspective in a loner and want that as well. So I feel like people tend to open up to me a lot about stuff that they deal with internally because they feel like I'm a safe person to talk about that stuff with because I have more experience. And even people that I don't know that well, they see it and they approach me about it and they, they want that perspective. And it's, it's very interesting. And I don't like I said, I don't know if this is across the board or if it's just my personal experience. But let me know if this is something that you have experienced, if you are also a loner. So, yeah, I think that's it for this video. This is a topic that I think about all the time. And I'm constantly analyzing myself and my relation to this concept and the world. So if there's anything you think I missed or you have questions about, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um I have an email address on my page as well. If you want it to be more personal, you can send me an email. We can discuss. Might even inspire me to make another video. And yeah, I put out a new video every Sunday. So if you like this one, check out some other ones on the channel. And you can come back next week for a new one. And I'll see you guys next time.